Hi everyone, mm, this is another video I'm showing you uh, how I'm doing with my progress and also results <clears throat> and uh, after my last video I, I decided to raise the supply voltage for for my device and I built an 80 volts version and also a 150 volts version but they were not so satisfying so <clears throat> I I built a uh, I built one that is uh, supplied uh, directly from the the grid and in my case is 220 volts uh, <clears throat> Uh, when it's rectified and it's uh, filtered with the filter capacitor, it is uh, the voltage is uh, going to about uh, 350 volt, 315 volts in my case. <clears throat> That's because the the filter capacitor is charging to the peak value of the of the AC and 220 volts is the RMS version, RMS voltage. So, uh, I have here the setup, it's going through a uh, um, fuse, bridge rectifier, filter capacitor and um, I'm measuring the current here again with my multimeter and this is the, the proto board. <coughs> uh, I built another primary. Uh, and uh, this time I use kind of Tesla type uh, secondary uh, and it's connected to uh, uh, 16 LEDs and they are going to a metal plate this is an aluminum plate and here it's uh, create electrical connection to the LEDs <clears throat> uh, just I'm gonna show you uh, I'm, sh I'm gonna demonstrate you after a, a second uh, here mm, I'm gonna show you the the distance from these tiles from here to the end is around 33.3 centimeters and you see you see 27 is to here and to the end is 33.3 centimeters so they the primary and the secondary are separated by 33.3 centimeters uh, it's turn it turned out that <clears throat> the distance is uh, right way to measure is from the center of the one coil to the center of the another just like they measure it uh, on your vehicle, the wheel base measurement is from the center of your front uh, wheels to the center of your rear wheels. So I'm gonna turn the meter. On 20 milliamp. I'm gonna connect it to the socket. The meter shows 33.3, uh, shows 3.3 milliamps. You can see it, 3.3 milliamps. And the device is idling right now. The LEDs are not light because uh, I'm not uh, tuned to the right frequency. <coughs> Uh, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with this uh, setup because 3.3 uh, uh, milliamps at 315 uh, 15 volts uh, <clears throat> is not pretty pretty good to me. <clears throat> uh, and uh, when it tuned, it the current rises even more. I'm tuning it right now. Okay, so the LEDs are on. And we have 
4.2 milliamps now. <clears throat> Although mm, I'm paying for 200, 220 volts for milliamps, but it's just kind of like a bonus because I'm I'm rectifying it and I'm using it like a DC and I get uh, 315 volts. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm not satisfied with these results, but just want to share this um, progress and not every day, you're not gonna see every day a device uh, supplied, uh, electronic device supplied directly from the grid. I'm gonna show you the, the range, although I'm not primarily interested in the range. I'm gonna tune it again. I'm moving it very closely because the plate on the top is not secured in any way. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. And 3.8, 3.9 milliamps now. Let's see when this LED is going to extinguish. It's still trying to light dimly now and the uh, distance is two and a half Tiles, I guess, tiles if you call this like that or whatever you call it. So the distance will be 2.5 times 33.3, centimeters from this coil. This one, <clears throat> uh, this device also also is uh, the Tesla one wire transmission line setup, so it's good to see it's working with me. I'm Taking the coil as close as possible to the primary and I'm going to tune it and You see the current draw is 4.3 milliamps And they're a little bit bright now uh, also, the, the coils must be uh, loosely coupled, uh, you know guys, uh, they, they put the, the secondary in the, in the first, in the primary, but um, it's not working good for me, it's kind of damp the circuit, so uh, it works uh, better when it's uh, uh, loosely coupled. Uh, if you remove the top plate, uh, the circuit is detuned, but I can still uh, tune it and make it uh, light. And you see it now without a metal plate on the top of the coil. 
So here you see the the current draw increasing. So I guess it worked better with the the metal plate yeah. on. It's kind of hard to balance it. I'm gonna tune it again. So anyway guys, uh, one wire transmission line by Tesla and uh, supply from the grid. I think it's a good uh, content also, although I'm not satisfied with this current drum. It turns out like uh, when I increase the voltage on the, the supply voltage on the circuit, uh, it become less efficient. So you you know in my uh, previous videos it uh, it idle, it was idling at uh, 0.1 milliamps or even zero milliamps, and uh, now the case is different. Uh, but the good thing is that uh, this uh, uh, coil have a great field around it uh, because of the higher voltages. Anyway. I think that's it for now, see you next time.